Hello and welcome to our video on completing the rapid immunoassay, a lateral flow device that's used for the rapid detection of beta hemolytic streptococcus. Beta hemolytic strep are part of the um, blood agar test that you probably completed on your previous lab. Just to refresh your memory, remember that we have beta hemolytic, alpha hemolytic, and gamma hemolytic streptococci. To begin the lateral flow device test, or the rapid A strep test, we first have to prepare the materials. We see here we're going to be testing first E fatalis. And in order to get started, we first need to open the lateral flow device. Make sure that you open at the notch in the packaging. This will ensure that when you pull the device out, you don't contaminate the test window. After opening the flow device, you're going to want to prepare the buffer solution. The buffer solution is inside of a glass ampule, and you need to squeeze the tube tightly to break the glass ampule and release the buffer. You should see a nice green solution in the bottom of the buffer tube. A positive control is used to determine if a batch of tests on a single lot are viable. We first want to run the positive control really just to make sure that our test is working properly and all of the materials, materials are fresh. Here you can see uh, once the swab has been opened, at the end of the swab the red dot indicates that this is a positive control. No bacteria is swabbed for the positive control. The lysis buffer is added to the tube and the test result should come out as a positive. Now we're ready to begin swabbing some bacteria. We're going to open the swab at the handle end to ensure that we don't contaminate the actual cotton swab that will be touching the bacteria. We then open the bacteria plate and we're going to generously swab bacteria onto the end of the cotton swab in order to ensure we have enough bacteria to get a good test result. Now place the swab in the opening at the top of the lateral flow device. The swab should fit snugly and should stay inside the lateral flow device while running the test. Now take the buffer tube and carefully drop the buffer into the opening of the LFB on top of the swab. All of the buffer solutions should be used. If the buffer solution is not running all the way down into the tube, you may need to gently pull the cotton swab out and then push the cotton swab back in just two or three times. This will help get the buffer solution to the actual test window. You can see here, this test is negative. Now we're gonna show why this is called a lateral flow device. When you add the buffer into the opening of the LFD and then allow the buffer to soak through the swab, it will travel up the filter paper along the test line and the control line. On this rapid strep test, T stands for the actual test, that will be the test result for your organism, and C stands for control. You can see here that this is from the positive control, and we have a positive test result. When reading the results of a rapid A strep test, a single blue band in the control window indicates a negative result. The presence of a uh, red band next to the T in the window indicates a positive result. So a single blue band would be considered negative and a blue band with a red band would be considered positive. The rapid immunological assay in the form of a lateral flow device can be used for more than just the presence or absence of beta hemolytic streptococci. Many doctor's offices use the rapid tests for a preliminary type of testing. A positive result on a preliminary test allows the healthcare provider to begin a course of treatment while waiting for confirmation from the clinical laboratory with some sort of confirmatory test.